Okay, let's chat with then Vijay Bhamani to get you his sense of and his thoughts on the markets for today's trade. Vijay, hi, good morning. Let's start off by talking about the Nifty first up and what sort of trade are you expecting on the expiry day? Where the market outlook is concerned, the 5,600 level which I've been talking about since the last uh, three trading sessions still remains uh, in place because that doubles up as a previous swing uh, low support as well as the 200-day moving average. And as far as the intraday uh, pivot levels are concerned, the uh, bullish pivot for the Nifty spot will be at 5,640 levels. As long as the Nifty spot trades above this consistently, the primary target will be 5,675 and the secondary target will be 5,690. On the flip side, the bearish pivot for the day will be at 5,625 levels, below which the primary target for the Nifty spot will be 5,610 and the secondary target will be 5580. That's where I advocate a, a little bit of uh, buying uh, on the Nifty because of a pullback uh, consideration. Vijay, our morning, how would you assess the movement on the bank Nifty? Where the bank Nifty is concerned, it has a similar possibility of a pullback rally in the offing in the coming uh, one or two trading sessions. And as far as the uh, pivot levels are concerned, the bank Nifty spot uh, has a bullish pivot at 11,150 levels, above which the primary target will be 11,250 and a secondary target will be 11,325. On the other hand, staying below the bearish pivot at 11,100 levels, we'll see the primary target will be, uh, which will be at 11,075 levels and a secondary target at 11,025 levels. And what is the commodity trade that you're recommending this morning? In the commodity space, I would advocate buying aluminium uh, April futures contracts at 105 levels, holding with a stop loss at 104 and a quarter and expecting to book profits at 106 or above. Vijay, what would be your two stock recommendations for our viewers then? Where individual stock trading ideas are concerned, I would uh, advocate buying Jane irrigation in the cash segment for delivery at 61 levels, holding with a stop loss at uh, 59.75. And I would advocate uh, booking profits at 64 levels in the coming few trading sessions. So this is not a day trade, but uh, a delivery based uh, investment where the trader might have to wait for a couple of trading sessions for the levels to fructify. My second trade would be a buy again, this time on Kane India in the cash segment at 276 levels. I would hold these uh, long positions with a stop loss at 272 and expect to book profits at 283 or end of the session, whichever comes first. All right, so those are the cash ideas, Vijay, but what about the FNO trade? In the future space, I would buy the March futures of Tata Motors at marginal pullbacks of 275 levels and hold these long positions with a stop loss at 272.5. I would expect to book profits at 280 or end of the session, whichever comes first. Okay, we'll let you go at that. Thanks very much, Vijay, for joining in with your perspective on the FNO side of the markets as well as individual trading recommendations.